What is up guys? You are locked into our Destiny Alpha first look event provided by gamers for gamers from our YouTube channel Gamers Forever abbreviated as G4E TV. Yes. We're gonna con we're gonna get into our bungee servers. I'm gonna log into our character that I already made. Max level eight in this game. You cannot get more than level eight. As it is still a beta demo trial event that finishes tomorrow at 8. I'm going to be showing you side missions from the game and not exactly story missions or competitive matchmaking. Which I'll show you exactly how it works in um, the uh, lobby type map place. So if we just log into our character here. Take some time to load. I don't, it's, it's Bungie themselves, developers. Don't know how many uh, programs are provided in this alpha beta. So yeah, that's the main screen. Just open up the upgrade menu here. That's your. This is our character. You can just rotate him like that. You've got your weapons here. I've just got a scout rifle and a pulse rifle. Pretty simple stuff. Impact rating is quite high for the scout rifle. Range is really good. Stability is really good. So that is a really good weapon if you're taking out bosses. Rocket launchers are here. Where is it? Oh, no, my bad, down here. Best weapon, best weapon to use on bosses, for example, Scepter's Prime or Spider Robots. Let's switch with a fusion rifle. That's the best weapon to use against uh, generals and um, level eight characters. Defense is 139. I'm not sure what that means at the moment because when I went to the tower, the, the social hub, I saw armor ranging from about 208 to 250. But yeah, you can customize your helmet, your gauntlets, chest pads, uh, leg armor, and the cape that you have. So you only get two here, or if you can get Vanguard uh, emblems, or if you do crucible missions, for example, matchmaking games, then you get rewarded. And you can upgrade to different um, capes depending on what your stylized character looks like. This is the roster. You can invite your friends here. You go straight to your materials here. Inventory. You can um, bounties here. Which you have to do as additional missions if you want to. This here, let's just go set our destination. So that's the tower social hub. You can hang around with your friends, start a crew, upgrade your weapons, upgrade your em emblems, change your character's armor, and locate bounty hunters. Crucible is basically 6v6 matchmaking game that you can do in the alpha. Then you've got these five missions or matchmaking modes where it's locked until the release date of September 9th. I'm not going to be clicking this at the moment because I'm going to be showing you level 4 explore side mission area from the game on planet earth in russia also you can play level 3 story which is pretty complicated if you are level 1 starting it off because straight off the starting block you'll have a witch at the end and she or he will destroy you like a bitch trust me i played and I Luckily, I didn't die because I kept running back to cover, waiting for that energy to come back, like Halo, and it goes boop, 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 just like that. Yeah. So the Devil's Lair is another one. It's level six strike, but I advise people if you're starting this off on release day of 17th of July, that's the beta. You start this. Don't start on level four or level five because. It's two bosses and the enemies are extremely hard, especially with the weapons that they give you. Bungie are really, really penalizing guys on uh, the style of weapons they choose. So if you're choosing a weapon with 39, I'll show you. If you choose a weapon of less than 51, then level 8 characters will destroy you and it will take a long time for you to kill them. Even headshots are ridiculously long because it's like 4 or 5 shots until they die. So let's jump on, explore Cosmodrome, and let's launch our jet down to Earth. Let's go down. Yeah.
I'll tell you what, the loading screen in this game is really beautiful. The way the jet just keeps a stationary position until it gets its locked location of where to go down to earth. And that's like, uh, for example, Watch Dogs, where if you die and you need to reboot the system and you can get back onto the game, it goes through a, a whole clusterfuck of details and uh, login and uh, symbols until the login um, symbol is shown and then it goes back to the phone then it reveals your character so as you can see the ship's going down and it should teleport us down to down onto the ground there we go so that's my character with my well, let's um, see what kind of scout rifle we can get into. straight off the block enemies there fallen shank right there we've got some enemies over there next to the garage door or big massive door that leads to the refinery oh look we've got a new player what is up quirky what is up what is up so let's see his weapon let's see his weapon comparing his weapon oh actually that looks like the assault rifle from halo you know i'm not even going to be kidding you check this out if you can see the detail and and, and the uh, hey hey don't don't you dare move don't don't move M must 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 I point at you? Must I point at you not to move? No, don't. <sighs> so from his clothing style, you can clearly see he's a hunter, and I'm a titan from the armor that I have. Yeah, that was a bit of a dance there. <laughs> the AI in this game is smart. If you, if you, if you point your head just a little tiny bit over the top and they will start attacking you let's get a, sh a headshot here there we go also because it's an open world gameplay this little cavern here if you go down and you're level two or level three i'll show you here you won't expect something that will just come out of the shadow so you're walking down and you're just thinking yeah okay i'm gonna explore this and out of the blue comes an abandoned acolyte which his level is crazy i'll show you there we go you see and then i'm gonna die it's it's one of those type of things where you just don't expect to get annihilated like that especially for a game like this when you never experienced halo because it was an exclusive game for xbox and you're Say a Sony pony, as one of my friends states, uh, you will not expect it to, you know, give you that easy feel. It'll just get you straight into that Halo legendary feel where you go up to a, somebody and that, that covenant alien will start attacking you like a bitch. So let's summon our vehicle. Yeah, the. Well, one of the additional information here is like these aliens, they look like the, the Covenant one, uh, aliens, uh, the purple aliens from Halo. That's the concept art that Bungie wanted to follow up from. Well, specifically those who stayed with Bungie and not went with 343 to make a, a new Halo project, which was Halo 4. Mm. Well, let's find out. Uh, we can get a side mission they're called beacons which you locate I just hover here with the double X bar there we go there we go so they blink at you until you get to it you can activate your mission and it should give you information on what Guardians, to do let's see if I can there are some snipe. machines in this area that oh, could got prove vital to our future efforts extract when you oh, can oh, 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 oh what's going on what's going on there oh I'll show you this fusion rifle here. If you just charge this up, and they go flying, just like um, Dead Space with the incinerator. That was a, that was a really good weapon. So if you see on the uh, map, top left uh, corner, you see that the radar is pointing forwards to north direction where you have to go. I'll just summon my vehicle here, show you guys what the vehicle looks like. So you remember those Halo weapons? Uh, uh, vehicles uh, opposite to the war thug from the aliens where you can I think they were called ghasts where you can uh, fly yourself 
two locations. Oh, 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 ah, just nearly. I'll say the grenade, just like Halo, that blue grenade right there. Yeah, uh, a plasma grenade, just from Halo. It looks like it, but it's more of a quick, short, instant grenade that launches at you. And then at the bottom of the left corner, you see that the grenade recharges instead of you picking it up from aliens or humans. For example, in Halo, you can kill someone and steal all their grenades. It's that, 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 it was that beautiful back in 2001. Well, let's follow this. So I'll just jump up here, a bit of hover, don't need to jump, don't need to jump, don't need to jump. Do, 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 do. So you can keep pressing the touchpad on the PS4 controller, and then it shoot. ooh, hoo -hoo. we'll just throw that there. Bit of punch, bang, that's it, that's it, headshot. Another, oh, aiming for headshots here because they're the best. Gives you a challenge other than that auto aim where you can just go bang 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 like that. Ooh. Sometimes auto aim is just too simple to be honest. It's just not fun. Just like Call of Duty. If you have an assault rifle, then yeah, just go guns blazing. Who gives a shit? It's, it's destiny. Keep following this. That's it. Should give you more directions. There we go. There we go. So, guys, if you have got a pre order beta access code, be sure to log in on the 17th of July. All platforms Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, and PS3 gives you access. Gets you access to. Basically, I think it's a month of beta access, but if you are a PS4 owner, then rejoice as uh, you'll be getting it a couple of days earlier. But obviously, if you live in the UK, you ain't going to be downloading it at all for a day or so, depending on the area that you live in. We have really shit connection providers. Talk, talk, plus net, flipping hell, like, come on. Fix up your goddamn provide provider service. BT Virgin, they're the only people that can provide a really good stability, stable connection. No, 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 not Tesco. Tesco is the worst, man. Tesco is the worst provider you can ever be on. I think, I think it's worse than TalkTalk, Talk, to be honest. Worse than TalkTalk, Talk, honestly. <laughs> you can get a better connection with EE than Tesco. And EE is like the worst mobile provider you can ever be on as well. Like their connections will drop to like one bar and you're like a in a shopping center or whatnot and that's where you get the really good connection speeds. Uh, let's just find out where you can. There we go. Right to the tank, let's scan the environment. So that should bring us to 100% maybe. No? Oh, I didn't scan it yet. There we go. And that's an optional mission completed. Let's go. So that was a quick demonstration of a side mission. If you watch our other videos, you'll be able to see the Devil's Lair in action. No commentary, just pure gameplay. This is me, Rayhan, signing off for Gamer Forever, G4E TV on YouTube. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Also our Twitch live stream channel which will be getting upgraded soon. And we'll be streaming The Last of Us Remastered on Survivor Difficulty next month. Including 4 days access early to the full game of Destiny. Catch you later guys. Peace.